In the Midlands of England, approximately seven miles from Nottingham, lies a quiet village called Gotham, home to around 1,600 people. Which begs the question, why is Batman City named after a village in Nottinghamshire? The village of Gotham has existed for over a thousand years. Hmm. Place names with the ham suffix come from the Anglo-Saxon period in Britain's history. Ham means home, settlement, or village. And Gotham means home of goats. <coughs> Long ago, the village of Gotham acquired a reputation for foolishness and insanity. According to legend, during the reign of King John, the royal court was travelling to Nottingham and planned to stop in Gotham en route. The villagers were not best pleased by the news. The king and his court would be expecting them to provide hospitality and entertainment, which would be expensive and it'd be effort. And what if you liked it here and wanted to come back again and again? It'd be such an expensive faff. He might build a hunting lodge nearby. He'd be here all the time and it'd be so annoying. And what if the road through Goaton became a busy highway to Nottingham? The peace and quiet of the village would be ruined. So the villagers came up with a plan. Whenever the king or his men got near to Gotham, the villagers would pretend to be insane. That is so Gotham. They would walk around clucking like chickens, hop around backwards, and much more. One time they built a hedge around the tree where a cuckoo bird was singing, saying they were trying to trap it. Another time, they were trying to drown an eel in the village pond. They rolled cheeses down a hill, commanding them to travel to Nottingham Market by themselves. The plan worked, and Gotham earned a reputation as a village of fools. Gotham, my constituency of fools. After witnessing so many mad antics, the king and his men decided to avoid Gotham. And to this day, Gotham remains a quiet, peaceful village. The villagers' foolishness was wisdom disguised, so the legend was given two names, the Mad Fools of Gotham and the Wise Men of Gotham. There may have been over a hundred tales of the Mad Fools' antics, many now lost to us. They were a popular part of English folklore, passed down from generation to generation over the centuries. Sometime in the 16th century, 20 of the tales were printed for the first time in a collection titled The Merry Tales of the Wise Men of Gotham. And for the next 300 years, the tales of Gotham were reprinted, retold, and reimagined, becoming a well known part of popular culture in the English speaking world. At the beginning of the 19th century, Washington Irving, best known for writing The Legend of Sleepy Hollow and Rip Van Winkle, created a satirical magazine called Salma Gundy, which ridiculed the politics and culture of New York City. In it, he used Gotham as a nickname for New York City. About this time, it did fall out that the thrice-renowned and delectable city of Gotham did suffer great discomfiture and was reduced to perilous extremity by the invasion and assaults of the Hopping Tots. I'm sure it was hilarious at the time, and its readers understood it. They certainly understood and enjoyed the reference to the legends of Gotham, but because they had only read the name and never been there or met a local, they pronounced it Gotham and it became a popular nickname for the city. Today it gets used when naming books about New York's history. Batman was created by artist Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger and first appeared in issue 27 of Detective Comics in 1939, fighting crime in New York City. After a while, Finger wanted to relocate Batman to a fictional city like Superman's Metropolis, but he struggled to think of a name. Civic City, Capital City and Coast City were all options. But then he flipped through a New York City phone book and saw the name Gotham Jewelers. That's it, he said. Gotham City! And so, because of the legends of the mad fools of Gotham, because of the satires of Washington Irving, because of the New Yorkers who liked the nickname, and because of the jewelers in the phone book, Batman City came to be named after a quiet Nottinghamshire village. The village is obviously very proud of this connection. They have a statue celebrating Gotham as the village of legends. And they've tried to get the village twinned with New York City. 
The connection has also occasionally been mentioned in the comics. It's a recurring motif in Batman media that the villains, declared criminally insane, believe themselves to be the truly sane, wise men, not mad fools. See, I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. In issue six of the Batman Chronicles, Robin reads an old journal about the founding of Gotham City. He learns that the settlement began as an insane asylum, founded by a serial killer who wanted a safe place for people like him, and named... After a village in England where, according to common belief, all are bereft of their wits. Where the mad fools are really wise men. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing. And if you'd like to support me making more videos, you can become a patron on Patreon or make a one-off donation via PayPal. Hey, I'm Batman.